undead as much as it's under dark. Okay. Uh, I am going to turn my attention to the brain monster. I'm going to... Daphne has done this a bunch of times before, but this is the first time where she looks... almost gets caught up in a motion of and, like, loose the gravitas in her voice because she realizes this thing doesn't have eyes to look into. <laughs> so she's like... She looks at it, she goes, drop. And she is casting command. Not oh, command. Yes. Give me that save. Fails horribly. Okay. And then as a bonus action, uh, how far can I? Up to tw up to twenty feet. Twenty? I thought it was way. No, nope, it can't move very far. So that's as far as I can move it. This, and that's my turn. All right, Doctor Daphne is Aberforth. Oh right. Oh, they think. Yes, Aberforth is going to. Um. Are right, is the uh, little. The thing the body was on going to be difficult terrain? Body? Or the sacrifice spot? Oh, the altar? Uh, yeah, it's going to cost you next. Five feet of movement. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. I'll just go to there for now. And we are going to plink at this dude with my short bow. Ta da! Whoa, why did it give me advantage or disadvantage? Did you Why mean, you mean uh, drop, you're, or did you want to fall to the ground? Oh, I thought I'd just use another five feet extra to step off. Oh, no. I, I think he's... Zach, are you talking to me? Yeah. Did you want him to drop or fall to the ground? Is he standing on a ledge? No. Uh, well, drop means uh, the the... Wording on drop is that they fall prone on their. That's grovel. Uh, the wording on drop is they drop whatever they're holding. Oh no, I mixed them up. I meant grovel. Um. So. It does uh, an eighteen. Eighteen does it. Also, you might as well take frightened off of them because uh, the it's going to give them disadvantage on attack rolls, but that's uh like conditional on the fright. The thing causing the fright is still in line of sight. Well, it's not. Max damage! Oh! And, uh, that's my turn. Well, if you didn't have Frightened, would you have had advantage on that for any reason? Absolutely not. I am gonna move. Especially considering the thing was prone because of the command grovel. Right there. Nope. Nope. We haven't hit the Hulking Brain's turn. And you get a heal. Boy, heals. Oh boy, here I go healing again. Oh, come on, you You don't want the hulking brain to give you a hug? <laughs> oh, that's tempting, but... Yeah, uh, that is my turn. After you is the brain's turn. Falls prone. His turn. And is a great Arcturus. Yeah, it is. I'm going to use the opportunity while he's prone to do something. Oh. Please do. That's why I did it. Another spiritual weapon. <laughs> <laughs> what if our spiritual weapon? <gasps> so, just a quick question. Zach, I want to confirm that aggressive, the class feature, gives me 30 extra, my, well, up to my class's extra move speed free. Aggressive? Pretty sure aggressive. If you're talking, the, the trait you have is an orc? Yeah, no, that just lets you move as a bonus action. It, it, it essentially lets yeah. you dash as a bonus. But you have to move closer. And you have to, to your be target. going. Yeah, yeah. You have to be going towards your target. 
Yep. Perfect. But it, it is your move speed. You have okay, plus features second. that increase your move speed. Your move speed, if you have effects that lower your move speed, it's still your move speed. So I move aggressively toward the thing. Ah. I aggressively sling my axe. Prone, you have advantage. You didn't give him prone? Because he's in the bike. I, uh, I like the title for this episode, Zach. Yeah. There's more than one meaning to that. Depending on how far we get there. But it's... Ouch. And then I decidedly unaggressively move back. Uh, he'll attack you for that. Oh, I'm sure, with disadvantage while he's prone. All right. Back here. That was uh, very bold. The hit point. That's why I took it with the disadvantage for being prone. All right. If he hits you with his bash attack. Oh, that's a one. Dark Taurus as well. We got lucky uh, if that attack lands, he grabs. What's William doing? Uh, so, bonus action. Crap. The spiritual weapon stuck in a wall. Ah. Uh. Pick up my coffee for two seconds. Damn buggy, no clipping ghost weapons. <laughs> That's as far as I can move. Uh, and then we are going to drop a fire under him. Don't do that. Uh, does. Prone give you disadvantage on deck saves? No. Okay. He fails. William, the hulking brain's already hit the Next stop damage! Uh, and there's a fire, we'll say, in that top left corner. Okay, dog. Of his hitbox. And that's it for Will. Might want to get that checked out. The top left. William <laughs> is Daphne. 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 Probably. <laughs> um, so, already prone. So. Uh, I'm going to look at it and say, "The one for just nothing." Or. Yeah, whatever that one was. Oh. <laughs> That's what it is. I she's thought it was Noah to, for a second. She is going she is going to command it to halt. Awesome. End up, but he won't be able to move. And he fails. <clears throat> I'm controlling the crap out of this big ass brain. What I'm built to do. <laughs> um Oh. Halt, the creature doesn't move and takes no action. Not stand up. It can stand up. It doesn't move. And it doesn't take any action. Just because it costs movement doesn't mean it counts. You know what I mean? Uh, no, it, that it... Okay, if, give if, a DM. If, but... if his move speed became zero, then he wouldn't be able to move, but standing up doesn't count as movement. 
us. Okay, it just means if we're in the same situation, we get to do the same. It's fine. I'd say the same um, the other way, too. Bonus act. In case he ever mind controls us while we're laying down in fire, you know, that happens so often. Happened to me last week. Yeah. We can try to make it happen more often. Ever fourth, it's your turn. Uh, All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm making an attack. I keep forgetting spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon, go! Honestly, it spells kind of gross. Like, can we add a spiritual weapon? Spiritual weapon. <laughs> Spirit guardians is even worse. Yeah, that that should have had had advantage. Whatever. You can roll like twenty-one hit. Really want yet? Well, right. I could get a crit. Could get a crit. Why would it have advantage? He's still prone. He's, pr prone. He's still prone. His turn hasn't come yet. Right. Aw. And that's my turn. Right. Oops. Now it's Aberforth. Yes. Now, Aberforth, now that the beast is lying down, he feels a lot more brave about this. <laughs> so we're gonna move forward and slap him with adventure. Uh, with advantage. Up. Oh, that do it? There we go. No, that didn't do it. Well, hopefully I roll better than that. That would be nice. That's better. <laughs> yeah, that hits. <laughs> All right. I have advantage. Whee! Crap. You don't like that. Yeah. Um. And then I think we are going to bonus action. Try to slap him again. Uh, I guess that. Hitting him with the ass end. That is. Yeah. That's ah yes, there it is. It's just this though. Um, uh, minus five because of offhand. Go. A lot of hurts. Still so much hurts. Ta da! And then Aberforth is going to back up a bit, which doesn't provoke at all because he swung at him. Also because he's already reaction, and also because he action. Oh, he can still oh, take action. Okay then. Hand on his Super turn. Cool. Command has weird. Okay. Things, but uh, that's all. Here, it's your turn. I'm gonna use my action to use my storytelling thing. Ooh, you're gonna tell a story. And Arcturus gets some temp hit points and he gets to pick someone else who gets temp hit points. He's going to get nine temp hit points and pick someone else. It's a lot of temp hit points. It is. That's why I like this one. I wanted to design that. Mm -mm. No, this is uh, from Van Richter's Guide to Ravenloft. I yeah. picked Amber for, for extra hit points. He gets nine temp hit points, too. I can't. Oh. I, I don't know how to actually apply it. There we go. They I have it. Something. Uh, you can just like click and drag that number there. Cool. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Words on Arcturus. And that'll be me if you want to keep it going. All right. The Hulking Brain's turn. He stands up, takes some fire damage, and then ends his turn. Well, maybe take it. Yep, I got it. Yep, he's taking fire damage. I, I have freaking two tons of gray matter over here and it can't do anything. It's, it, <laughs> There's this a reason is it's normally the, in a skull. There, there is, this is the dumbest two ton, two ton brain I've ever seen. <laughs> I like how it just busts through a wall and it's like, oh, pretty goat lady. Oh, goat lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You don't want to do it, right? You want to just stand there and let us be. Arcturus, right. it's your turn. I'm starting to worry about how everyone wants to buy Daphne. <laughs> it just okay if I should. Before it's like I bought her first, assholes. <laughs> you finally got something valuable. Wow. 
I don't have a lot of health. Uh, you're getting close to have more than I do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically, you've got, like, only 24 damage on you. You have 33 yeah. damage on him. Oh, yeah, plus the 9. All right, fuck it. Let's do it, boys! Running it down. Uh, I scream something akin to the water boy as he runs across the, the football field. Gave me aggressive bonus actions. <laughs> uh, probably because I was targeting it. I don't know. I, I'm, hitting my, I'm hitting myself with aggressive. Yeah. It's a standing right about there. Ooh. This is making up for that null fight. Does a 30 hit? Crit. Yeah, that's a crit. <laughs> uh, okay, feels bad, but whatever. Uh, yeah, and then I'm just going to stand here like a man, I guess, for the moment, or an orc. <laughs> like an orc. Uh, William, it's your turn. Oh, well. That hits. 16? Oh, yeah, that hits. Uh, and then bonus action. Oh. Wow, our damage chance are just first this session, huh? That's fine. I've rolled zero damage so far. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. A uh, bigger number? Yeah, that'll that'll hit. Max damage? <laughs> yeah, your guys' damage die real cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Daphne, it's your turn. Okay. I'm gonna save that last spell slot. So congratulations, you're finally free of my grip. Or you could burn it. <laughs> I really want to, but no. <laughs> <laughs> so for a toll the dead. We're talking grip. Is this anything to do with uh, mermaids? He fails. <laughs> fails? <laughs> yeah, he fails. <sighs> he don't got ears, silly. <laughs> Uh, if that's it for Daphne, that makes nope. it Aberforce. Oh, no. Nope. Friggin' bonus action. Spiritual weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. And that's my turn. All right. Now it's Aberforce. Aberforce is going to bravely step forward behind the line of other things. <laughs> yeah. And protect me, things. Smack. Come on, roll it. Our summons shall blot out the turn order. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> but we shall oh, die in the good. shade. At least I'm consistent. There you go. That's beautiful. Let me see. Yours, sir. Listen, Joe. In most games, I aim to be the reason we do combat tracker. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to make fun of this big old brain looking thing at yeah, yeah, as you should mockery. look at him yeah look at this goofy you don't dude think he's got it hard enough <laughs> not really. at all <laughs> it keels over <laughs> <laughs> well, that explains why he keeps failing does, 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 that mean, does that mean i crit no <laughs> <laughs> i have disadvantage on your next attack uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I get a turn. Hey! <laughs> All right. So my multi attack is three. I get to make three. Uh, attacks. Fire damage. 
Yeah, fire oh, damage. If he if he ends his turn there. Oh, it's mine. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, it's a cantrip, so I don't get it at the start of his turn. Um, cool. I don't think I can actually move backing a first fire. So, uh, I'm going to look at Aberforth over here. And I have... Curse. I'm going to look at uh, Aberforth over here. And he's got real long arms. He's got four of them. He's going Ooh. to attack Aberforth three times and foot rage. Nine temp HP, don't fail me now. Yeah. Vicious mockery attack. Hit. Yes. Boom, you are The grappled. mockery. The mockery, it does nothing. <laughs> Rained. Fun. <laughs> Just as he's grabbed, I didn't consent to this. Okay. Uh, then here comes a other back. Actually, no, he's going to try and hit Octurna. That'll miss. Let's take our third swing. 15 will also. Oh well. Makes it the orc's turn. Um, looks like meat's back on the table, boys. Call him meat. This brain. Yeah. Oh, that is. Oh! Oh, hey, he ended his turn. Oh yeah, he did end his turn. Whoa, he saved! Wow, impressive. He rolled when a nineteen. When he's not being mind controlled, he can you know avoid a fire. Who'd have thunk? And yet he ended his turn in there. Is that it, Vertors? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna. I think we we'll face tanking this one for now. All right. Well, it's your go. Second verse, same as the first. Oof. Oh, that misses. Spiritual weapon? Is I have object permanence, I swear. Uh, I'm definitely going to do that, but I'm trying to decide if I want to do something stupid. You've already spent all your spell slots, so why the fuck not? Oh, okay. Type. I don't know what uh, the hell else you're going to do. Oh, uh, this. So, uh, when Aberforth gets grabbed, uh, Will shouts, Mr. Bristlecone! And, uh, he grabs his spear. <laughs> That's a good something. Yeah, uh, and as soon as he grabs the spear, uh, once again his eyes start glowing blue. You hit? 20? Yeah, that is. Ah, minimum dip. No fucking what? Okay. Oh, cool. Awesome. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> so, oh. as soon as he grabs the spear, his eyes start glowing blue, and, like, with a feat of athleticism that Will should 100% not do, uh, leaps into the air and just, like, stabs the, the brain directly, like, in the center of the skull and just rides it down to the ground. Yeah, he had one hit point left. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, you splat the hulking brain. Uh, what do you guys do now? Uh, I knew a, you as, had it in you, Will. As a call has absconded with the manuscript of the damned. Uh, he said something ominous about being able to find another one of whatever the hell Daphne is. Uh, and you guys are in the basement of a supposedly haunted manor. Oh, I don't see any reason for us to stick around here. It's only been 18 seconds. Let's get out of here and see if we can catch Hazakal. <laughs> Our tourist has been counting. <laughs> hey, I don't think that's a good idea. We're almost out of tricks. Almost out of health. So is he. 
Look, I get it, but I think the best thing to do is to regroup and, I don't know, townsfolk about what's coming. Uh, by the townsfolk, do you mean everybody in whatever the name of the town is that we hang out in? Yeah. Be I don't know about you, but those nightmares have been particularly visceral. And random question hmm. while we're standing here. What are the odds that that's all the mercenaries that they had upstairs? Our tourist just pokes his head up there. <laughs> this what passes for adventurers these days. Uh, you poke your head out uh, there, uh, behind a hidden door in the room that had the altar in it. You're on the left side of the room, and as you're looking out, you you don't see anyone in the room, but you do hear like several footsteps just kind of like casually walking around in the hall, and some and some like like not really like whispering, but they're not like shouting at each other. So you you hear like muffled conversation. We do have a recently exploded hall. I think that might be the best way to go. Ten bucks says this. Ten gold says this comes out at the well. And I'm stepping away from the keyboard for like a minute. You're good. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. That water's not particularly deep. It's like at most like. God. Unfortunately, unless I stick close to our glow stick, I cannot see anything. And I've already used my one torch for this adventure. I'm not wasting any more. <laughs> Ooh, bones. Ooh, delicious bones. Do you mm. think it wise to be delving into a cave with our current, current, current damage? Uh, this appears to be the den. Of that hulking brain, several several remains from its past kills, and uh, it's got like a little makeshift uh, desk bed thing far side of the cat. How does it eat? Uh, it had a mouth. Fortunately, none of us got pulled into it during the fight. Pretty much the only facial feature it, feature it had was mouth. My, my next turn was going to be putting guidance on Bristlecone and passing healing word. Oh, come on. Who needs hit points when you have a buttload of damage and a very, very enthusiastic employee? This will be remembered, William. Good job. Adventure! That brain had an action where it, like, it, where it just like squeezed the crap out of every creature it had held while it was trying to grab Arcturus. I think it did like 5d6. <laughs> So what's uh? I'd like I'd like to roll. Uh, I'd like to search this area. Why not? See if there's anything. Can give me an investigation check. I'm gonna look around with him. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. I actually think I will use a torch if I need to. No, it's pretty lit up in there. I I am gonna go ahead and light a torch because I don't want to do an investigation check with disadvantage for searches based on sight in a dark okay. room. Yeah, I have the light cantrip. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I have the light cantrip. I have ten torches. They last oh. forever. A Aberforth is taking uh, a solid, however long it takes to uh, take a snapshot of him with the dead hulking brain into the ritual room. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I said like ten minutes. <laughs> mm. Does a year find anything with that 16? Um, I'm waiting for the Arcturus to make it. Stop it. I'm like, I'm like two snapshots behind now. 
Yeah, and I got coins to spend. <laughs> Oof, yeah, no, you guys uh, find everything there is to find. Uh, you leave no stone unturned. Um, we find a baby hulking brain. <laughs> Aww. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't seem like this creature's been eating anything uh, like humanoid. He's been mostly eating like weird, twisted abominations that he's fished out of the uh, city through this cavern here. You don't really get much loot wise, uh, unless like you want some like weird. Um, I'm okay. That could make a good poison. And the uh, see more of these crystals that uh, you've seen before underground. That most of the that a lot of the like the Drenarthi Corporation will harvest these crystals on occasion. They make they they polish them up, make them all nice and shiny and stuff and. They just have a property that makes them really good at holding the light. Cast light on them. Low indefinitely. So not terribly valuable crystals. No. No, but what I hear is free ever burning torch. Yeah, they're useful. Like if you want a light source that doesn't die, you can grab one of these. I'll, I'll see if I can't grab like. I'll see if I can't grab like five little crystals. Uh. You have a weapon that does bludgeoning damage. I have a rock. Rocks do bludgeoning damage. Uh, go ahead and give me a d4, see if you do enough damage to dislodge some of these crystals. <laughs> uh, you get like a couple like really small shards, not enough to be. You're gonna have you're gonna have to hit it a lot harder than that to get like a usable. Otherwise, you just would, it. would one of you mind helping me? I feel like this would be useful to those that do not have dark vision. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Why would we want a torch that can't actually burn things? That sounds useless. Ash. Um, I'll say you get like one good crystal for some damage. If you guys have like an actual tool instead of some rocks, you'd be. How many of us are there that don't have the ability to see in the dark? I can't. Well, can't. That's one, two. A plus four doesn't need to see in the dark. Three. Can our tourists see in the dark? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes. You can, so we just need three. Or two, if if Aberfort doesn't want one. Hey, one more. I'll smash a couple more times. Yeah. Why are you spending your time? There you go. Get all the crystals you want. Daphne, yeah. Daphne, you said you could cast light. I can. Would you mind, please, and thank you? I don't know. Entirely up to you, miss. I can't see in the dark. I'll pocket the crystals and walk away. <laughs> Have fun with your useless crystals, mister. What, trying to sell me into slavery? <laughs> oh no. I'm going to have to go to town and have someone cast a cantrip. Uh, yeah, Arcturus, you get to the end of the hall. The, that does indeed. Hope you can see. Goodness, Arcturus. With skills like this, you should become a cartographer. It's also starting to get late, so while you do see light, it is starting to wane. Do we stay in the... Wait, 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 wait. No, we're not in the tribe lands anymore. No. Nope. We still have the temperature-based travel, or no? Not here. Do we want to take a short rest? Or do we want to just try to get out of Dodge before they investigate, investigate the caves? Cave. Short rest is 15 minutes. Yes, but we don't know how far they are done up there, and you guys decided to uh, try your hand at mining? How yeah. long did it take us to find this? Uh, to get those rocks? I'm going to say you spent 
Uh, no, I'm asking Abra for it. I'm asking Abra for it. How long did it take us to find the teleportation circle? How long at all? Uh, I guess we should leave. And you already solved the puzzle. Um, is there a is the is there a rope in the well? Uh, yeah, but it's uh, the bucket isn't lowered all the way. About halfway down. The Uh, can I toss a rope? Can I fashion a lasso and toss a rope around it? Uh, sure. Give me the lasso. I want to say survival dexterity. I feel like little handling. I, I feel like rope skill goes under some survival's time knots and stuff. Why wouldn't lasso? Survival set to dex? My god. It's I'll survival slap. dex check. I'll slap Arcturus for the guidance. Um, it, uh, it results in no change to the uh, survival bonus that I'd be rolling with, so... Yeah, go for it. Um, we'll just roll it flat here. I'm as dexterous as I am wise. I'll give it to you for 14. 14 is good. So I fashion a, a lasso out of one of my own ropes. And I successfully throw it up and whip it around the bucket, and I tighten the lasso just enough to be able to pull the bucket, or you know, tug on it, and I pull the bucket down to our height. Um, and then I give the rope an experiment. I unhook my own rope from it, and then I give the rope on the bucket a uh, an experimental tug to see if it'll support my weight. Uh, go ahead and give me a athletics check. Successfully test this. Oh yeah, no. Um, you you give it a good yank uh, to see if it's gonna hold to hold you climbing up there. And it seems while it groans a little bit, uh, you don't hear any, any like splintering wood or anything. Is anybody not good at rope climbing? And I'm looking well, directly at William when I say this. <laughs> Daphne, I am not good at rope climbing. Daphne raises her hand as well. So does a performance. And year. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you all weigh? Uh, about 90 pounds. Uh, that was about 100 pounds soaking wet. With, with what all I'm, of my equipment, 100, uh, 100 pounds exactly. exactly. With my equipment, I'm about 200. Guys are skinny. Okay. So I, I Daphne, get... okay. Daphne isn't skinny. She's just like five feet tall. So I get year and um, who I, I'm picking two of you at a time because it doesn't really matter for me. I, I pick up um, year and William both, and that's a total of three hundred pounds. See if we can hold three hundred. And hold an Arcturus. Let's see if it holds Arcturus plus 120. Yeah, let's see if it does that. Are you gonna... I, I suppose through it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna climb up the rope four times. Okay. Um, I have one of them hang on to me, and then I climb up, and I deposit them out the top of the well, and I do it three more times because I'm a baller, and I can do a 30 foot rope climb with my eyes closed and one hand tied behind my back. I believe that. Uh, what's his athletics bonus? Plus six. You can't fail. I'm in a rope is five. And I also count as one size larger for my carry capacity, so I can carry <laughs> They're nothing. them up if I needed to, but I don't know if the rope can handle five or six hundred pounds. Yeah, no, you don't got to worry about nothing. I mean, in fairness, you could only make you could always make the trip three times, and Daphne could just ride the bucket up. <laughs> Uh, sure. the, the fourth time you go up, uh, you do notice that the, uh, the arm of the well that, that the, the rope winds around has severely cracked, um, and you're probably not using that too much more, uh, with, with, without, uh, without taking a trip down the fast way. Well, it's a good thing we're all out of it, then. Uh, so you guys are in the backyard. You guys are in the backyard. 
of uh of the manor. Um there doesn't seem to be any members of the Julian Claw looking for you. Uh you mostly just hear them kind of milling about the manor. All the more readings just fuck off. Yeah, I agree. Well, if the people who are having bad dreams want us to leave, that's the only reason I wanted to be here. Well, I do want to point out that we came here for a very specific purpose, and we did not accomplish that purpose. Remind me what the purpose was again. Yeah, to remind get me as well. Name. But... That, I say so, damn, but I really mean damn. Yes, but... Weren't we just going to end up selling it to him anyway? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. We were going to get it so that we could... Wait. Why are we going to get it? I'm listen, confused. listen. Three of us have been having strange nightmares about the demon Mazadul and many oh, other... Oh, right, 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 right. The apocalypse thing. Destroying the entirety of... What is, what's the name of the... Town we live in, Zach? Uh, well, Matt. Well, I thought, okay, tribe and town, or the tribe ones in the town are both named Slomat. Yeah, because uh, the Slomat tribe yeah. are what the, they only, they just call it the tribe lands. Um, everyone mm -hmm. else in the city calls it the Slomat tribe lands because as far as they're concerned, Slomat are in charge. They have the largest settlement. Gotcha. Well, We've been having these nightmares about Slomat being raised to the ground and all of us being beheaded. Well, I'm sure you won't have to worry about that after all the exercise we got today. We'll probably sleep like the dead. Right, okay. Just reminded me. Uh, hey, Abe? Yes. So, um, in my experience, uh, when you fuck up a big, like, ooh, big, scary, evil guy gonna come kill everyone, um, that would be the time to skip town. So, I don't know if you were, I don't know if there were any other planes that you were thinking about setting shop in. Um, of course. How could I ever Isles, abandon the, the Emerald Isles, I'll Let tell me... you, the Emerald Isles, lovely this year. Listen, Daphne, <laughs> we can't abandon the shop. Think of all the people we'd miss. The boy, the jar of ticks. Come on, this place does nothing but build character, and I'm sure a few demons will only help that. The boy? I don't know the boy from Adam. Who's Adam? <laughs> Somewhere in the upper realms, Parsbrilla just starts sweating for no reason. <laughs> I, almost, I almost spat out my coffee at the mention of the jar of ticks. <laughs> and I guess, unless anybody has any objections, we just start trekking back? I say we start tracking Hazakal. Okay. Uh, I've done this for a long time, but I'm very interested if you have any sort of tracking method that can follow someone who has teleported, because I don't see any more footsteps. How so much you, do I know about teleporting? Also, I, also you're well, like nowhere near where Hazakal has ever stepped. How much do you know about teleporting? Um, you know about as much as the regular layperson does. Like, you're in one place, and then suddenly you're in another place. Look, look, Archeris, let me, let me break this down for you. I, I used to go back and forth to the Feywild all the time. Okay, so imagine a napkin, and you're an ant walking along the napkin. Now imagine that you fold that napkin in half so that the two ends of the napkin touch each other, and the ant just walks across the bridge. You don't squish the ant of the napkin? No, no, the ant represents the person who's teleporting. Get it? Because, like, from the ant's perspective, you're on one end, and then suddenly you're on the other end, when in reality, you've folded the napkin in half. Yes, 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 I understand that. But I'm wondering if this teleport that Hazakal used was a very small five inch by five inch napkin or a very large three foot by three foot napkin. Does that make sense to you or can I use a different analogy to explain that to you? <laughs> it doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter how far he teleported. 
whatever he even if he teleported five feet away, he still had plenty of time to get away while you guys were playing fine. And well, that's not forget. <laughs> I said we can go chase after them. Why? And I said, I'm not getting into another fight while we're all this hurt. Yeah, see, see, I, Aberforth's got it. He can fucking fly. Yeah. Look, at best, could travel. We could go find somewhere to camp in safety, rest, and track him down. But in the at, in the state we're in, all we're gonna do is die tired. Give me. We know he's gonna come back to the shop. Give me he's always buying. Stuff. Give me streetwise checks. Uh, all what, of us? what status yeah. is that based on? Charisma. Nope. That's not. Oh. His name is Hazakal Al Ramin. He's a goddamn merchant lord. This guy doesn't live subtly. He has a house somewhere that you can find. Like like he's in the phone book. <laughs> it's just a book on a chain in one of the messaging booths with the names of everybody you could bother. Like, like it's he is a merchant lord. He is at least a B list celebrity in in the Rimmon Bazaar. Tracking him down is not going to be particularly difficult. Getting anyone on our side when he's already a merchant lord. Yeah. That will yeah. be difficult. Because you can bet you can bet he's not walking around as a Rexasha in the rim and just It's taking advantage of the fact that we had him in the red right here. Yeah. But we don't anymore. And unless you know of a way to go back in time, that window has passed. Wait, we're passing windows now? Yes, they're right in the house. We're right next to the house, full of windows. Well, are we closing windows? No, they're already closed. We have to go past them because we can't go through them. Wait, okay, I'm getting confused about the metaphor here. What do windows represent? Well, Something you see you a napkin and you cut a hole in the napkin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I assume we're having this conversation while we're walking at this point. Yeah. Since we yeah. completely lost the plot. <laughs> Uh, you guys make it back to uh, the tribe lands. Um, you don't make it all the way back to slow map before night falls and it gets really freaking cold and it's really freaking wet. Um, but luckily, right outside most of the gates is like a small village that you can crash in. For. Take off the next morning. And since it's rainy season, it's not super hot during the day. You guys are just like dedicated to making it back to the curio shop. You get there around. Do we get a rest overnight in the camp? Yeah. Get a rest in the village. Um, Buy some I, food, some supplies, whatever you want. Small village. They're not going to have a lot. Yeah, I, I just want to spend hit dice. I, I cast an aid on myself and Aberforth and one other person that I... But that's <laughs> worn off. That's worn off by now. I think it was Ashwin. It may have. Mark, do you have more hit points than normal? I don't remember. I have 50 right now. How much does aid provide? Five hit points? Yeah. I think I had 45 before this, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah there's a problem with having to apply aid. Pretty sure there's a way to code it. I'll have to double check it. Pretty sure one of my add ons gives me. Do some quick math here. Yeah, I, Oops. I, I wanted to do it, but just like the documentation for the scripting is. Just hold. It's not great. Um. Well, I, I can. I remember when I did it, so I could watch back through the episode and figure out who it was. It was me, and I, I know how much health I'm supposed to have. Okay. Because math may not be everybody's friend, but it is my friend. You also need to get rid of that temp hit points. That's true. Well, they last until they are gone. They last yeah. until the next long rest. Yeah. Is that so? Mm, I always thought they just lasted. Oh, no, uh, 10 pit points just last. We get one 
hit die for long rest, right? Yes. Well, I mean, I guess you have it until you, you get hit. Yeah, no, 10, ten pit points will say... Ten, 10 pit points will either say when they go away, or they just don't go away until they're used. So, like, uh, Cloak of Vine says they go away after... I think the Warlock power that gives 10 pit points says... Like, they, they, they usually specify if the 10 pit points. Okay. Okay, you guys make it back to the Curio Shop. About noon the next day. You guys still sore as shit. You're waterlogged from walking through the storms for, like, four hours. There's a couple of long boxes up in front of the store, and I'm like, ah, new product. I bring them inside. Uh, before you have a chance to crack into the crates, the boy does show up. And, uh, yeah. Uh, who, who, who all's in the main room? Boy, shows okay. up. I am. Yep. Yes. Uh, so he, he, yeah. walks, he walks right up to Yer. He goes, ah, hey, uh, you, you guys are back. That's great. Um, I gotta show you this. And uh he uh he looks into a bag and uh uh a, a look of like dismay kinda like goes across his face and he just kinda shakes it a little bit. You hear like a whole bunch of stuff just kinda clanking around in there. He goes, Oh no. And he upends the bag and you hear the sound of a lot of shit falling out, but you don't see anything as the bag empties. He goes, God damn it, I had some disappearing ink and the frickin' vial broke open. And, and 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 he's like he's like sorting through all the stuff on the ground that's been turned invisible by this disappearing ink, and you and you see like patches on his hands where the ink starts rubbing off, and you can kind of see through his hand there. If you look at the bottom of the bag, you can see where it's starting to disappear, and it's slowly disappearing more yeah, and more. The bottom of the bag is just slowly disappearing. Uh, <laughs> like, it's God okay. damn. Okay, I got something that you might find neat. And I open one of the long boxes, and there's just a, a, a quarter staff in here, and I'm like, pick this up. Here it comes. He picks it up. And he immediately falls to the floor. Oh. How do you like my pole of collapsing? He goes, ow. Useful. I mean, if nothing else, it's a great prank. Great, and then I'm I'm trying to scoop it up without touching it and back into the box. <laughs> you you have like two other poles and you're just trying to, yeah. trying to like magic stick that thing back into the box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh Daphne all morning since we got since we got back has been like <laughs> racking what whatever she remembers from her priestess training to, to like make a attempt at demon proofing the shop which in in the the priestesshood of Pars Puella means a lot of like uh, festive decorations streamers and like <laughs> I, just general, you, you, you're, like general make, you're making a circle of salt but it's like margarita salt so you don't know if it's actually yeah. going to work <laughs> yeah I, I, when I, you she's, 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 she's mulling she's, some wine <laughs> Just all I could think of was just what you did. We called it demon a couple times, and it's a devil. <laughs> it is. A devil. All I can think of is when you did the the mass blessing and did the triple H spew, and all I could imagine <laughs> was our shop with Daphne doing that, but for a car wash. <laughs> Get your car blessed. <laughs> No, it's like the, uh... <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Daphne's trying to devil-proof the shop. What's everyone else doing? I'm helping I'm... Daphne. Helping Daphne. Yeah, I'm worried about the, the... How did I sleep last night? Uh... Not well? Um... The nightmares were still there, but it wasn't like as exhausting. Oh, great! So I'm getting used to it. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna pull William into my office. 
Okay. So, William, what you did saving my life and showing that initiative you were showing on our last mission has really, really meant something to me. It really makes me believe that there's the heart of an adventurer somewhere in that thin, bookish, glasses-wearing frame. And honestly, it touched something deep inside of me. So my boy, and he pulls out a contract, and it's just, I want you to think about this. And he hands it to William, and it's basically saying, if Aberforth dies, William gets the shop. And it says, in some fine print, also Daphne. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, uh, well, thank you, Mr. Bristlecone. This is, this, this is an honor. Yes, don't feel pressured into it. Just think on it. You have plenty of time to decide. After all, it's not like anything horrific could possibly happen in the near future that could cause my death. And after saying that, he just walks out of the room to let William think about it. <laughs> the, the, the skies turn red, it starts raining fire. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> the, the thing is, uh, Daphne is trying to remember everything she learned about, uh, about sanctifying a space. Problem is, you know how like when you learn, if you learn something drunk, you have to be drunk again to remember it. Okay, Daphne, Daphne, Daphne was absolutely plastered throughout all of her training. You mean to tell me Daphne isn't drunk right now? No, she's extra drunk right now. She's she's gone maximum over drunk. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to help her. No, you. You need to put the streamers up like this. You gotta fix the ribbons like it's a rune for. Here, let me show you. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. It's, give me, it's give me, like <laughs> it's like when your dad asks you to hold the flashlight. It's just like, no, you're fucking doing it wrong. Come here. Is Arthur is, is, is sitting some of the ceremonial wine too? What was that? I, that's exact. Yes, I'm trying to help. <laughs> He's helping. <laughs> I am helping. Uh, William's gonna walk up to the year and just be like, hey, hey, year, can I, can I ask you something? You just did. Okay, you got me there. Hey, <laughs> listen, uh, Mr. Bristlecone said that I saved his life, or, like, yesterday. Uh, what, when did that happen? I remember him getting grabbed by the thing, I ran forward, grabbed the spear, and the next thing I remembered, we were in a tavern with water. Yep. What? So when did I save his life? When you stabbed the brain monster in the brain. I did what? You oh yeah, the, the brain, brain monster. monster. Yeah, yeah, that was actually pretty lit, William. I don't know what lit means, but sure. Lit, lit, bam. You see? Yeah, you know, it's badass. I'm just happy. I'm happy. I just got these. And he turns around and he sinks an arrow into uh, Daphne. It does absolutely no damage because it only works on small kangaroos because it's wallopy <laughs> ammunition. <laughs> Ow! What the f- Yeah. I... Useless things. Okay, but you, you, uh, you definitely saw me stab the thing. Everybody saw you stab the thing. Ooh, How you, couldn't you, we? You 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 stabbed the thing good. I mean, I was uh, a little peeved because you stole my frag from me, but you know, you did it with fucking style, kid. Yeah, it was huh. like you're a completely different person. You you're know, like, like a you know, like you know, like cool and and like badass. You know, like not at all like you are. You like pull Bolton with that spear and you. Yeah. Summer salt, and then you just like don't get. Yeah, it was like it was like for for half a second, I almost forgot what a dweeb you are. Daphne, don't you have a don't you have a drunk don't you have a ditch to be laying drunk in? Yeah, it's right here. I haven't it's... dug it yet. That's the that's the end of the ritual. <laughs> uh, oh. 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 oh okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys say it happened. 
Do you or not I mean, narrators. I mean, you could check Mr. Bristlecone's snapshot. I'm sure your spear's still stuck in it. Huh. Yeah, not relevant yeah. for the snapshot. <laughs> your, your, what color are your eyes? And Arcturus leans really close and looks at his eyes. What are his eyes normally like green? Yeah, oh, his, green. Eyes are, his eyes are normally green. They were like bright. It went Super Saiyan. Ah, uh, and then Will pulls out like a, a notebook and like like a small pen and like starts writing this shit down. <sighs> really, um, I can't believe I'm so stupid. I know what happened. You blacked out. Ah, oh, must have been your first one. Ah, oh, I remember my first blackout. Ah, oh, those years. I remember. How would? <laughs> How would you remember your first blackout? Because it's still happening. Because it's a treasured, <laughs> it was a treasured memory. You know, I was 12, about my friends. You know, formative memories from your youth. Don't you remember uh, those, right? Uh, oh, right. I'm sorry. You probably didn't have a lot of friends as a kid. Yeah, Daphne, and you don't have a lot of friends right now. Well, I'm not gonna after this, after the demons come. Devils. Devils, whatever. Hey, uh, by the way, uh, anybody want some of this ergot? Uh, yeah, they... Will, Will's gonna, like, try to do a bit of research on, like, try, because if his, if his name is Al Rimmon, then presumably he's on good terms with the Rimmon Bazaar. There but is. It's a large... But it's a large place, so we're gonna see if we can like narrow it down a little bit. Yeah, uh, go ahead and give me either a streetwise check or an investigation check. Thirteen. Uh, I'll say thirteen is good enough to find someone who's as rich as Alraman. Uh, yeah, no, you know where Hazakel's addresses are. Uh, he's got a couple places. Um, uh, they're they're all in the bazaar. Um, but he has, like, a large manor, uh, and he has, like, a small, kind of, like, secluded vacation getaway bungalow. Cool. I share this information. Yeah, cool, cool. Let's just, like, go visit him and ask for the book back. Great plan, William. Hey, thanks. Hey, hey, Year, do you think he'd take Daphne for the book? Uh, I mean, either way, we could get out of there with a couple thousand gold. For the last time, we can't sell, Af we can't sell Daphne. She's a tax write-off for the shop. She's technically a water feature. <laughs> <laughs> By that logic, we can just donate her and write you her know, off. You know, honestly, not the worst thing I've been compared to. I I mean yeah we just sure let let let's go let's go see if we can track one of these like go do a stakeout on one of these places. Who who's going to do the stakeout? Can we go tomorrow? <laughs> uh yeah I'm not, you're. I'm not I don't going anywhere. <laughs> This is nice. I mean, yeah, sure, whatever. I we need to do something so that I can actually get a good night's sleep. So uh I guess I'll go and whoever else wants to go just follow me, I guess. Hey, take a drink of this and help you sleep. I'm, I'm gonna go um, the shop well in hand. I'll come along, William. I'm coming with you. Just just Watch out for those, like, calfskin boots over there. Uh, is the guy we bought him off of, like, slipped in the door and was singing a show tune. I think they're boots of sliding and singing. Hmm. I can appreciate that one. 
All right. So you three head on off into the Remen Bazaar. Takes you a while to get there. Uh, so you got two ways to get to the Bazaar. Either you trek through Slow Mat Tribe lands, um, which will take you through the jungle, which is Night Pulse territory. Not recommended. Or you just go right out the, the gate that you guys are hanging out next to, and then you get to use public transit. Isn't that the College of Staves? I believe you are right next to the College of Staves. Well, that's oh, no, no, territory. No, no. It's not the College of Staves. It's the Jadarthi Industrial Park. If you're next, oh. right next to it. Oh, that means we need... Don't we mean, need, like, special breathing apparatus for that? Only if you want to walk around on the streets, there is, like, a series of tubes that you can walk through. Ah, oh, well, then I, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Time. Okay, you guys take the tubes. Um... It still takes you a while because uh, Bazaar is like on the side of Dragon Shadow from you guys. So it's a hell of a hike. Let me pull up the map. Up a map. Not the one I want. Also not yeah. the one. Yeah, I really need to sort through them. I I kinda do. I got like three or four different maps of Bastion up. I like to imagine that the DM's just like shuffling through them like a wad of cash, making sure they're all there. That's pretty like much what think, I'm doing. I like to think the DM runs and dramatically shoves everything off a table, throws a map down, be like, nope, <laughs> that's not the right map. Nope. <laughs> By the way, Joe, you gave me Shield of Faith. That was, what, two extra armor, right? Two AC, yeah. Okay, thanks. Sebastian. There it is. Aha. Okay, so here's Bastion. Uh, you guys are, like, right here. Have an asset. To the flump. To the flump. I still haven't got top down menus. I'm still looking for them on the side. Okay. You guys are here. Hooray. Uh, actually, it's not that far to the bazaar. I keep forgetting the bazaar is like more south than it is. Because it's a little. Uh, one, one, two. Takes you almost two hours to get here. Um, where you step foot in the bazaar. And you have like the whole bazaar to kind of play around in. The Ribbon Bazaar is. Um, you haven't really had a, a reason to be here too often. Rimmon Bazaar is it, it it looks like the opening scene of Aladdin. Like there are there are um bright colorful awnings all over the place. There are those um sandstone built uh, all the buildings are made out of that sandstone. Um but interspersed with all of that like classical architecture, also like these dazzling like towers and skyscrapers uh, that seem to kind of litter the uh, uh, the horizon, and uh, pretty much everywhere you look, that's like slightly above your eye line. There are just billboards just plastered all over the place, offering to sell you all manner. Mm, my cousin Ash has wrote me about this place. I find it detestable, uh, and. You never really catch them doing it, but the billboards are very rarely the same when you look at them more than once. So, like, if you look away from a billboard and you look back to it, it seems to, you have a sense like it's changed subtly. Like, like maybe the product is slightly different, or, or like, the font is, has been changed or something. The, the billboards seem to be, like, ever shifting, but never, like, changed in front of your eyes.
Uh, so which which of Hezekiah's places do you want to go first? He's got this good getaway spot, and he's got like a, his manor that's also kind of like his personal office building. Oh, this is William's operation. Well, he's obviously a collector of sorts. And you wouldn't just, like, put it in your, like, your little side hideaway. He's obviously going to want to show it off. So we should check the main place first. Well, I can't fault that logic. Yeah, we're going to the main building first. Okie okay, doke. No. You go to the main building. Right here. Another half hour of walking through. Ah, also happens to be the closest, I think. So, you get to the main building. Uh, Hezekiah's Manor is it's this large gated area, uh, and there's like trucks coming in and out every so often. Uh, there's several dozen members of this brilliant claw just kind of crawling around all over the place. Um, and it looks like it's on high alert, quote unquote, like something big is going down. Um, but you don't see any signs of Hazakal personally being here. Hmm. Right, William, what's the plan? I've always been more of an ancient, not occupied tomb sort of gentleman myself. This, this is a is bit a... out of my wheelhouse. Not a single tomb we've been in has been unoccupied. Why do you think <laughs> I haven't been doing that well? I'm a great fighter, except when they hit back. <laughs> it's unoccupied when we leave. Uh, I don't know. Closest I've ever come to this is reading like one of those noir novels set in Gloom Hollow. Well, there's no way that that could steer us awry. Oh, well, okay, in that case, we need to find a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that means we can use the unique feature. Yeah, we've got to totally find good. a purchase a ladder. And and as you say, we need to find a ladder. Suddenly, it it it's like they have your your fucking search history. All the billboards start suggesting ladder for sale. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The Women Bazaar is literally just Amazon. It's it's I Google forgot. AdSense, yeah. <laughs> I for, I forgot to add this when we rested, but I had Song of Rest. Oh nice. All right. So. All right. So. So, so what, what, what we can do yeah. is, uh, Mr. Bristlecone, you've got you've got an air of authority about you, so you'll be the foreman. So, Year and I will carry the ladder in. We'll say like, ah, oh, hey, we're here to change out a chandelier real quick. We'll don't worry, we'll be fine. We're gonna take it down. We'll bring you the new one here in a second. And if anyone starts questioning him, you, uh, you, Mr. Bristlecone, are gonna look at him and go, hey, we're getting paid by the hour here. All right, I think I can do that. Does my character have any underlying pathos? <laughs> paid <laughs> paid the, by the hour. Subtext? Paid by the hour wouldn't would infer that we'd want this to take longer. No, 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 paid no, no, no. Well, no, that's what that's why the foreman is saying, "Hey, we're paid by the hour because we want we want to drag this out, but he wants to get the job done because he has to pay us." I get you. Oh, so it's just like my regular job. All right, I can do. That. I'll just uh, imagine, imagine you're Daphne. I'm gonna cast guidance on Bristlecone. You guys need to find. Yeah, you gotta find the ladder first. It's All right. Tie. Isn't it investigation to try to find a ladder? And you have advantage. Fantastic. Ah. Oh, that wasn't advantage. Just oh, that's it again. There we go. Yeah. Fourteen finds you a ladder. Uh, it's like two silver. All right. Yeah. Uh, a fine purchase. Ladder. You now have uh, well, a you now have a ten foot ladder. While he's looking for a ladder, I'm looking for some clothing that might be fit an outfit like that for um, me, uh, Bristlecone, and William. Okay, cool. Uh, go ahead and roll your investigation. I'm 
can buy everything at the bazaar. Woo! Yeah, uh, it even it even has a little. You actually managed to purchase some like stolen Janarthy Industries jumpsuit. They have like little Janarthy logo on them. Where did awesome. you find one that had my full name? I'm I'm that good. <laughs> they even fit. <laughs> your name tag goes like a foot off your chest. <laughs> William, trying to buy anything? Oh God, no! I'm an ideas man. <laughs> the idea man. Okay. All right, let's do it. Uh, you guys take your ladder up to the gate. Remember the Cerulean Claw stops you. He's a big gruff dragonborn with blue scales because he's on brand. <laughs> and uh, he, he stops you and he goes, Hold up, who are you lot? Oh, this is my time to shine. I honestly can't believe we're trying this ruse again. <laughs> we're here, we've been told we need to swap out a ceiling fixture or a chandelier. We're told we need to take it down, bring it out, bring in the new one. We're trying to get this done as quickly as possible. These gentlemen want to go slowly because they're slackers, but I'm the one paying them, so we need to get in. Yes. Uh, give me a deception check. I did cast guidance on him. Oh, so what's guidance? A d4? <laughs> yeah. D4. Yeah. That's a 20. Ooh, that is a Yay. 20. Uh, he goes, uh, so he believes you, um, but he still says, we're not, uh, you have to come back tomorrow. We're not, we're not doing visitors today. The, the master's, uh, like, the master's off on business. Sir, we, we have to get this done. My boss is breathing down my neck about this, which is why I'm breathing down their neck. And if we don't get this done, someone is going to shit on both of us from a very great height. If you feel it necessary, feel free to have someone accompany us. But we have to go get this done now. This is our only available time. He goes, he goes I feel you, man. However, I would much rather your boss shitting on my head than my boss shitting on my head. You haven't seen what my boss eats. Let me tell you that. Um. Uh. So, so Will's just gonna be like, "All right, all right, man. Look, look. I've got, I got something here that that might help us." And he reaches into his pocket and then, <clears throat> air quotes, drops uh ten gold onto the floor. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. Oh, it was almost a 20. Uh, he, he looks at it and he goes, what's this? You, uh, you dropped your coin there, friend. <laughs> All right. Let, it, I'm sorry. My employees are so clumsy, so incredibly clumsy. And then I am going to reach over to attempt to pick up the money and I'm going to drop. How much do I have? <laughs> Fuck it. 40 gold on the ground. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I will hurl money at this problem. And give me that persuasion check. I'll give you advantage oh, for hurling an absurd amount of money at this dude. Come on, roll. Okay, fine, roll again. Twenty-six. Uh, Twenty-six. Um. He uh he looks at it and he goes, "You lot aren't actually cr clumsy, are you?" Oh my I, good sir, no. If we were clumsy, we'd drop the chandelier, and we he, can't do that. He takes, like, one big clawed finger and, like, start, uh, like, like pokes the side of his snout. He goes, I think I understand what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he bends over and picks it up, and he goes, I think I'm on break today. All right. <laughs> All right, my good sir, we never saw you. Come on, gentlemen, let's get that chandelier. Goblin light. And I, I guess we go. Yeah, you, you guys go inside. Uh, I cannot believe that worked a second time. God <laughs> damn, like I, love, I love the ladder. <laughs> the ladder always works. Um, <laughs> I cannot wait to see a new magic item added in the Bastion book, the ladder of disguise. <laughs> <laughs> the ladder of persuasion, my guy. All right. 
you guys get into the compound. Uh, there seems to be trucks with like um, with sh like shipments of goods coming in and out. Um, it looks like uh, as you, as you get deeper into the compound uh, and you get closer to like the main building, uh, you do see like members of the Cerulean Claw and just people who work for Hazakal are like stopping the shipment or, or like stopping the trucks, looking at the shipments of goods, like doing like a quality control check on a couple of them and then sending them back on their way. Be right back. And the manor itself is a rather opulent, uh, like Taj Mahal style building. Uh, there's like curtains and stuff all over the place. And uh, members of the Cerulean Claw are largely leaving you alone, but they are definitely noticing your presence. <laughs> I'm sure there's no possible way that our very distinctive actual faces could possibly get back to Alrimin. I, I, I'm just, like, like, Yir and I do not look like we should be doing any forms of manual labor, and you're a fucking rabbit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, this ruse worked the last time, because, like, we, like, Mine and Noah's characters like looked like they did like did physical labor. Will looks like he'll keel over if he picks up a five pound weight. I'm back. <laughs> um, Turns out yeah, Will I'm and good. Mage Hand have the same limitations. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I'm gonna just like whisper to Will. Okay, we're in. Now, where the fuck do we go? Are we going for the house, or are we gonna try to investigate what's coming in? Well. Like I said, it, he's a collector, right? So it's obviously got to be like in his house. All right. So, <laughs> so we just got we just got to keep walking with purpose towards the house, because Obvi obviously, like he's not gonna have a chandelier out here. That's entirely fair. <laughs> On we go. Uh, we're so you guys get into the house, and. You wander around through the halls. For, this is a, it's a huge manor. You wander around the halls for a couple minutes. Um, you find zero chandeliers, by the way. This man does not own a chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the walls are decorated with, like, exotic art, um, all bastfully painted. Uh, and, and you even, like, recognize a couple of the names. Uh, uh, like, there's a... There's like an Arcus painting. There is like a, a, a Vologo painting. Uh, just, you know, like real famous painters. Yeah. And there's a couple stats. There's a couple like, you know, like busts on plinths and stuff. Uh, this guy loves him some art. Uh, as you're walking through the halls, uh, go ahead and give me perception check. Pax and Jolly, yeah, Pax and Jolly paintings. Can I just use my passive instead? No, you guys are searching for stuff. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't work. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> we're going to have managed to snuck into his house and find <laughs> nothing, and then we're going to go back and be like, he seems like he's on the up and up. <laughs> he's just a dude, guys. Do you <laughs> So as you guys are, are wandering through the house and you get to like a more quiet corner of the manor where you don't really see any members of the Cerulean Claw and uh, you only see like a servant every couple of minutes. Uh, and as you get close to one of the, as you get down towards the end of one of these halls, you hear coming from one of these, uh, from one of the rooms uh, to your left, uh, you hear two voices and uh, one of them says, how soon until we find the beacon? And uh, the other voice says, we're, we're coming upon it any minute. They're not easy to find, but once we do, we, we shall deliver it to the master's bungalow, and then the portal will be opened. Well, that seems like enough for us. So, William, unfortunately, it does seem that his house 
was not quite where we should have been. <laughs> hey, so I guess, like, unless... like I said, this is my first investigation. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it's working. It got us in so far. The ladder was an inspired idea. Oh, thank you. Well, but I guess but... now, if anyone stops us, since there's obviously no chandeliers, we tell them we were checking the ceilings for supports for a chandelier so that it wouldn't rip through the roof. I like that. Um, so they said something about a beacon? Yep. Yeah. Hi. I... I'm trying to think of a way that, like, do they mean an act? Do they mean like a physical object? Or are they talking like a bastion beacon, like a cleric? Or is this sure. to buy Daphne? Sure that's why he wanted Daphne. Or is this like stop freaking call beacon for all your plumbing needs? <laughs> that's a brilliant idea, Will. We have to figure out if they want a beacon, and then I look out one of the windows to see if the ads have changed to beacons. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I guess unless we have any other ideas in there, we try to confidently walk our way back out. Uh, oh, no, I know what we should do. We need to set up the ladder and draw an X on the ceiling in whatever spot we pick so we can say this is where we found would handle the chandelier properly. In case someone fact checks us. Sounds good to me. All right, you 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 <laughs> you, gra you graffiti as I call it ceiling before leaving, yep. and we just walk right back out. Now, go ahead and give me a deception <laughs> check for the way out. And do. There's deception. There it is. Oh, oh no. Right. Uh, are you guys helping? You don't like help actions. No, but I have an alternative to the help action, which says you guys fucking roll. Whew. Think of it like group still, but instead it's yeah. group. Yeah, it's exactly that. Uh, okay, yeah, Aberforth miffed it hard, but you guys are really selling it with that ladder. Um, <laughs> His fake mustache popped off for a second. <laughs> yeah, Aberforth's fake his... mustache, his real mustache was showing underneath it. <laughs> I was about to say his fake mustache popped off, revealing his real one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, you guys you guys managed to bluff your way out. Uh, the, the guy at the gate kind of... He realizes you guys aren't leaving with a, with a chandelier, but by the time he does, you guys are fucking gone. Uh. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you guys leave, and then like two minutes later, he's like, "Hey, they didn't have a chandelier." Uh, where are you guys going now? Yeah, and, uh, like talking to the group. Like now, we know they're looking for a beacon. We know they're going to his bungalow. bungalow. Yeah. Um, do we want to try to gather everybody else for this? Because it sounds like this could. We might have to actually get involved. In stopping the beacon from reaching wherever it's going. May do you think I, just the three of us can do that? May I make a suggestion? Uh, always. We send a sending to the other two while we go and check out the bungalow. That's entirely fair. Yeah. Good job, here. Wow, we're really good at this. <laughs> My god. I'm going to have to tell Daphne to stop down-talking you reading these books. It's really getting us through this. Yeah, right? No. I don't believe Jill Daphne okay. has ever read in her life. Just wine bottle labels. Oh, now, this is very important. Who is doing the set? Is Aberforth doing the sending? Probably. Is he, is he because... making it an explicit order? Because that is the only situation where Daphne would agree to go to the creepy guy's house. <laughs> Wanted to buy her. First of all, you're assuming that Aberforth is even capable of concisely, in 25 words, 
saying what we need to do. You end up get like a dozen sendings. Oh no, he's just not going to realize when it's cut off, and then just assume <laughs> enough of it got through. And meanwhile, meanwhile, like Gear and, and Will are just throwing coins in the slot, so they're all going. You know, like when someone sends a really long Snapchat, and you just get like bam, 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 bam. <laughs> And and somehow Arcturus managed to send back to you not a message, but a picture of him standing wearing the boots of sledding and singing, wearing his underpants and a partially unbuttoned shirt, and bow and a uh, a necktie, singing yeah oh I feel good and that's all that we get back from me. You end up kissing one of your employees, and then the other ones start hitting on you. <laughs> It, all you get back from Daphne is the word fuck. <laughs> and uh, Daphne is going to start making her way towards them. Alrighty. Uh, that takes about two hours for them to reach you. Uh, and then about another say his bungalow is like about another two hours, about another half hour to get to the bungalow. All right, I show up, but I still don't have pants on. Ah, <laughs> I thought I came with did, Didn't he wear like a leather kilt thing? I don't think he ever was wearing pants. Well, I mean, I'm not wearing my leather kilt right now either. <laughs> Honestly, here. it's amazing he can walk in a straight line. Here, here, Ark, come here. You need to sober up a little bit. Here, snort some of these coffee grounds. No. It's fine, it's fine. Coffee grounds. Yeah, it worked for me back in college. I... Are you saying this as Suki, or did Daphne <laughs> no, go to college? I was saying that as Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about to say, I was like, Suki, you know, I always joke about doing an IV of caffeine straight into my veins. I never once yeah. thought of snorting it. No, I, no, I, I realized after I said it that, yeah, no, that would be in character for me. Yeah, I just, I didn't know which is weirder. Um, Daphne suggesting that she went to college, or you in real life snorting coffee? Uh, uh, so, so hold on. Uh, I could answer that one for you, Kalen. <laughs> Remember that Suki used to start off her shift at Walmart with a fucking tall boy, a Red Bull, and then would have another one on lunch. Yep. Nice. <laughs> the only thing that got me through that job. Oh, All right, that I got, got, got 6,000% of my daily recommended of B12. All right, so as you guys approach the bungalow, uh, you find it shrouded in a thick mist or like a heavy smoke. There's, there's like a kind of a smoky scent to it. And as you get closer, you notice, like as you go up the walk, uh, you notice that there is a statue of Zazakiel that had been erected in the front yard here, uh, but the head of it has been blown off. And it's kind of smoldering and smoky. Uh, crouched oh. in the bushes, uh, quite obvious to you, uh, is a young woman dressed as like a, a, a hand servant or maid. And up the path a bit, you can see uh, an imp. And he's he's kind of shouting and giving orders to a pair of gnolls. Huh. Get your goddamn meet? head out of the fountain! I was just going to say, is this where we meet the key master? It's just an imp. He doesn't have any keys. That we know of. That you know of. Great little buddy, I got some teeth. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys do? The the imp and the gnolls don't seem to have noticed you. In front of you is like a, a, a row of like pleasant little frog statues that are spitting like arcs of water to each other. Nice little water All right, feature. gentlemen. It's time to choose between our two main modus operandi. Honestly, it could be our motto. Lies or violence? We still have the latter. Thank Down you, Kalen. <laughs> I favor lies. It's my strong suit. Uh, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Arctur is trying to pick up the lady. Uh, she, she is visibly startled as you just like kind of walk up on her. 
Uh, her her attention was incredibly focused on the on the fiends on the on the path. Are you, I I lower my voice. What are you doing here? She she lets only go. Yeah, uh, and she turns around, and she goes she goes. Wait, are 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 you here to help? Uh, uh, Master Hazakal is still inside. Uh, there, I don't I don't understand what happened. I I was out watering the plants and then. And then suddenly, I, I, I couldn't open any of the doors, uh, and, and these, these things appeared. Uh, I, I can hear yelling from inside. Uh, and, and as you listen, like, you can hear like, the occasional scream coming from inside the building. Daphne is going to take a hand on Arcturus's shoulder and just kind of like, uh, gesture him away. Just, I, I've got this. I've got this. Don't worry. Master. Uh, they requisited us to help. We're a group of adventurers. It's a totally standard scenario. We have this under control. What was the last thing you remember inside? I mean, it was it was a normal day. I I, I was, you know, doing my duties. Make, uh, I did the, I did I did Master Hazakal's laundry, and, and then I came out to water the plants, and just this mist came out of nowhere, and and now there's. The most horrible has, creatures I've ever seen, just on on the walkway. Has Master Hesekal been has he been acting unusual? Any big projects? Anything that seems to be on his mind? Yes. Well, give me give me a persuasion check. Uh, he's Don't not going to just like tell you everything about her her boss without without having like. Some feeling that she. Oh yeah. Uh, she goes. Uh, I mean, the master has always been eccentric, uh, eccentric, and uh, I, I don't believe his mood has changed. Uh, if anything, he's been happier lately. It was. It was. Okay. We, we it thought was, we <laughs> thought he had met a young lady. It was. His hands looked kind of weird. Hands? Hands are fine. Hand. I, uh, All of them. We, we, the I, hands I am, hands I am so sorry. Will you give me a second? And Daphne is going to try to, like, uh, just take Ark. Kind of whisper in Ark's ear. You know that when, when people are drunk and they're kind of, like, not quite slap fight, but push people away a little bit? <laughs> Ark? Ark, yeah. let me handle hey, this, okay? I've got it. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> hey, oh, ooh, Arcturus, look over there. And Daphne is going to use ch her channel divinity to <laughs> summon his object of desire. <laughs> Whatever Just Arcturus so most desires appears off the distance. Another glass of wine. Take the direction. Uh, I'm going to say it's right next to Year. Right next to where Year is standing. And, uh... Are you going to try to resist the saving throw? I'm not in a position to resist it. He's too drunk but to I resist it. To be, I, I am going to be very audibly excited. Just yeah. throwing that out. So, I, I I shout. I, th I think we all knew the outcome of this. <laughs> <sighs> oh hell yeah, bro! Oh, that's <laughs> sad. Demon. That made sounds weird. Daphne is going to turn to uh the maid and just go. You've been given the clear to go home for the day. Go home, stay safe. This you've done great. You've done all you need to do. Roll initiatives. Yeah. Um because you hear the imp shout. What the hell is that? Kill them in there, bro. Uh... Nice job, Daphne. You managed to get through several sentences without slurring. <laughs> Unlike Arcturus. Bro. 
Uh, you think a guy that I tall would, could hold his liquor? As, I would argue it was Daphne's fault anyway. He, as, he got as, hurt. As you reach the illusion, yeah, it just kind of... trying to protect him from demons! As you reach the yeah. illusion, it kind of uh, shatters and, and melts uh, at your touch. I am heartbroken because it was an image of my brother. Oh. And, <laughs> oh, that's um, sad. And also, I did take a drink from your... First glass, which is why I am so completely trashed. <laughs> How could those oh. demons do something like taunting him with his most wanted desire? Uh, right. Who could do that? Huh. I. You, you you said you drank it from the cursed glass. Well, yeah, the one that makes you drunk on one sip, right? Wow, placebo effect really is in full force. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna start at the top. Uh, Aberforth, you get to go first. Woo! Uh, you could have um, had a surprise does, round. Unfortunately, no. Does the vegetation actually offer any sort of cover, or is it just set dressing uh, currently? It is currently set dressing. Uh, I didn't bother to go and draw all the trunks. They're all pretty neat. Okay. Wanted to make sure I knew what I was working with. Unless you're actively um, trying to hide behind them, they provide no cover. All right. Well, let's try to pew pew an imp. Ooh. Ah. Perfection. This. <laughs> what? Okay. Ah. Ooh, he hurts. All right. Then Aberforth clicks on the map so he can move and advances there. All right. Yeah, it's your turn. Well, I think Aberforth is probably in the most perilous position, so I'm going to give him some temp hit points. Ooh, my favorite. And then I'm going to then I'm going to roll on my table. You know? Here, don't you know by now all of my hit points are temporary. Ooh, five. I haven't gotten five yet. Ooh, fancy. Uh, you guys good going until nine since we don't have Jerry? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Oh, that is a fantastic. What's five? It kills all the enemies in the encounter. <laughs> the event. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so after a year is William. Oh, this will probably be. On. Oh, nice. So, is this just when you choose to apply that to a target, it happens? Yeah, I, I take an action, and then that effect happens to someone. Oh, okay. But my action was to give you temp hit points. Yep. I guess that imp's gonna take a firebolt. Good thing they're not known for a fire resistance. Oh my god. Go after the knoll. Listen, they may be resistant, they're not immune. Uh, I don't think a 12 is going to hit him. We have to wait for the DM to, to come back. <laughs> Noel's just growling at William. You should have aimed Sorry. for my imp. <laughs> I had to get the goblin drink. Uh, yeah, that misses. Does William do anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, the Noel's turns. They start cackling like assholes. Oh, what do you do? Oh, that's cool. Uh, my movement speed is very fast. All right. Three, four, five, eight. And... Ah, oh, damn it. William, 
You're putting a cramp in my rakish audacity. <laughs> I just want to stop there. Oh, yeah. Arcturus, it's your turn. Oh, God. He's dead. He blacked oh, no. out. No, just put the <laughs> phone down for a second and started talking and realized that I have to actually use my damn phone to do this. Welcome to my life. Yeah. The Arcturus may be smashed, but I am at three beers in, so... Um, yes. <laughs> oh, so you're method acting. A little bit. Some of that slurring was natural. Some of it. Not very much. Uh, yeah, so I am somewhat heartbroken and angry. As a result, because I'm too manly to actually shed tears. <laughs> that is a thing. So, yeah. We all start to worry as the aggressive uh, movement goes directly towards Daphne. <laughs> and so, yeah, I move to there aggressively, and then also with my regular move, I get the rest of the way there. Ooh. The whole time I am I am unstrapping the axe from my back and unlimbering my or limbering my arm as I go, you know, getting it all spun around and stuff. I grab a hold I grab that axe. And then I swing that axe. Did you uh, you didn't target him. Uh did you get that? Copy of the axe I, I updated. Did I get the copy of what? The axe. I believe your axe. N no, not yet. Yeah, Is it? It's in the me? Discord. Uh, I'll ping you in it. Uh, that misses. Uh, after Arcturus is Daphne. So a 12 misses? Yes, 12 misses. Do you allow me to retcon um, Oh, you want aggressive? A, it's... You want a reckless attack? Sure, I'm angry. I'm drunk. I'm fine, I'm fine with being reckless attack being a reaction. Or just a unmiss. I love that. I love that bit about Baldur's Gate. Yeah, it is nice. Although it seems like whenever I use it, uh, it, it doesn't never change works. a goddamn it thing. It never works. Uh, just, just roll again. You don't attack a whole nother time with Reckless. Yeah, but he has to grant disadvantage too. Yeah, but I would just do that after he. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 fine. I got a way around this. Okay, you see. No, I'm just gonna roll manually like a pleb. Oh. Sixteen hit. Sixteen does hit. Checking. Yeah, 16 hits. With 16 damage. Yeah, that was suboptimal, but you know what? I'm angry. I'll take it. Yeah. Sure. Sure. And, and where is that linked? I know you can ping it to me, but where is it? I'm going to go try to find it. Uh, it is right here. All right. Uh, yeah, I've had that out for like two. Uh, after Daphne is. Oh no! After Arcturus is Daphne. Left. Yeah. Um, Daphne is going to take a swig and. Uh, uh, don't worry, guys. We we got this. Uh, we're we're going to go in there and make a smear of him like we should have done last time. And less. All feel very overconfidently reassured that uh, there's nothing to worry about. Hmm. Ah. And that is going to be... All right. I it is the imp's turn. Uh, the imp turns invisible. 
I'm assuming Daphne brought along a catalog of magical effects to harm Al Resin with. Ever fourth, it's your turn. Nice. All right. Oh, and I no longer know where the hell. He's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to here. We are going to attempt to slap the shit out of this guy. Uh, ah. That's a 15 hit. I cast Detect AC. <laughs> Love it. Uh, that hits. Hooray. And he is threatened by somebody I know. Geek attack. Poke Niner sure had a lot to say on that topic. Yes, he and did. And then we will bonus action attack. Oh, he did a die. Wait. Oh, he's dead. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, then I can move forward. I still can move and attack again. Yep. With my bonus, right? Yep. 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 Okay. Whoop. Picked off a fourth. Not what I wanted. Aberforth, why are you so small, you little bastard? <laughs> um, we will move to... No, we won't move to there. That's a lie. Because I can't sneak attack him anyway, so why position for this? Aha! Bonus action! That's... Hooray! And then let me do my minus five. Don't add my decks. Eight damage. And, uh... That is all Aberforth's going to do. Right, after Aberforth is year. I am going to move. Here. And I'm going to see if I can't get him better temp hit points. Okie doke. Because these guys don't seem to be too sturdy. I'm not too worried about them. Yeah. Pay him out. <laughs> Consistency is key. That's it. All right, if that's your turn, it's Williams. Gonna cast me a firebolt again. Uh oh. Fourteen. Fourteen will hit. I love how we're just going one lower every time. Yeah, we're casting Detect AC. Ouch! <laughs> Fire damage. Uh, this guy, he is just a crazy mofo. Doesn't know better. Uh, actually, what he's going to do is he's going to back up one, and then he's going to take a running start at <laughs> Paris here. Is that provoked? <laughs> No, because he wasn't next to him. Is... He wasn't next to him to begin with. He just wants to get a 10 foot running start. Uh, Alright, that just means he gets to flail and bite on his turn. 17 hit. Yep. 8 damage, and then he gets to bite. And it's ya. And a 10 will miss. And it's Arcturus' turn. Not even through that temp HP. Inarticulate screaming. <laughs> And it's... Why do I have an advantage? Uh, because... Reckless attack is still on. Reckless attack is still on, yeah. Uh, that's interesting. It doesn't expire. Uh... You went around the roll last time by doing it manually. Yeah. Me? Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I'm not attacking recklessly, so I don't know which one of these would be the number to keep. Would a... Um... Just roll again. 
Okay. Make sure you take right this attack off. Here you go, try again. Oh, that hits. 15. Okay. Hey! Fair enough. Consistency. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Oh, he's hurting. So wait, does this mean we have proof of the Baldur's Gate three mechanic here? Reckless attack actually didn't affect the roll at all. <laughs> yes. Definitely, it's your turn. Uh, Daphne is going to. Sound of a dolorous. The stand bell. Now you need to get a bell guy in here. Yeah, he he dies. He had the one hit point. Go and roll okay. damage. You still got roll damage, but yeah, he goes splat. That necrotic. That. Is that it for Daphne? Uh, yeah. All right. This guy. I'm gonna go. Uh, does he sting year with a twenty two? Yes. <laughs> uh, he does seven damage, and then he's gonna have you make a con uh, save. Is that poison? Uh, the sting is not. The con save is for poison. I resist poison. All right. So the the sting was just piercing damage, and if you have resist poison, this will work like normal. Oof. Six more poison damage. That was the absurd. The sting did how much? Uh, three. I should have nine damage. I oh, know, uh, the sting did seven damage. Ow, fuck you. Your save was three. I looked at the wrong entry. I before the jury. Oh, God. He's attacking year. How could he? That little bastard. Oh, he's only 20 feet away. I was looking for an Owen Wilson wow to put on the soundboard, but now I'm not going to do it. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, well, it sounds like he needs to answer the call of adventure. Also, I'm pretty sure we already have that, don't we? Nope. Oh, wow. that hits. Hooray! <laughs> audacity. The audacity. One thing every broke person has. He didn't die? Uh, fire damage. Probably resisted. Okay. And then, uh, I guess bonus action. This minus five. Ta da! How did I only take five damage from you? That's a great question. Does he resist? Piercing or non-magical? No, it's just a regular imp. Hmm. 17 should have exploded have... this dude. Oh no, I do resist uh, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical, uh, from non-magical, non-silvered attacks. Okay. That all right. right. That was right. Ta-da! Oh, that is all Aberforth's doing. All right, this imp is holding on tight. Uh, that makes it years turn. Is year doing? I want it to make a con save. Bring it on. I like the weapon, Zoot. Cool. Uh, did it have disadvantage or something? Uh, no, he has advantage on saving throws against magic saves. 
Does it become oh, magic at level three or seven? Uh, the moment he gets plus one to hit his magic. One second. It's saver suck. Okay, he saves. But I did yell stop really fucking loud. <laughs> stop like, it! Like a hundred feet away. I, ca I, class I cast Thunderclap. Oh, okay. Uh, William, your turn. Well, I have another firebolt. It'll want it. Uh, well, that hits. you're getting it anyway. For max damage. Ooh, ooh zero damage. Awesome. That's it for William Arcturus. It's your go. So I know I can't actually do a standing long jump from this distance mechanically by the rules, but for flavor text, I can today. Yep. Because why not? We're, we're transitioning into exalted rules. Rule of cool. He wheels on a dime and just leaps in the air, and you hear this, like, odd... I mean, yes, there was the inarticulate screaming, but now there's this kind of bestial roar behind it. Uh oh. That hits. And it hits? Yeah, it, it's an imp. He's like a CR <laughs> half. <laughs> and so he, just to give you the flavor here, he swings his axe once. Oh, we love to see that. But four distinct slashes appear across the body of the imp where the axe struck. Oofta. Uh, he falls in a small pile of imp parts before burning away to ash. Nice. <laughs> on, on the wind, you, you hear a, I'll be back to get you assholes! <laughs> Doesn't that just take me back? I'm healing myself. Physician, heal thyself. All right, what are you guys doing from here? Healing myself. Well, just that. Uh, it sounds like we should really try to shove our way in there, there after go. the very, very loud thing that happened. Wait, hang on. And Daphne is going to uh, pull out her uh, in and just kind of a little bit of powder in it, squish it around. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mr. Crystalcone, Ark, and fuck it, sure, William. <laughs> uh, take a sip. Thank Is this God. cocaine? I thought we were going to get sprayed again. I don't know, William. Are you a narc? <laughs> it's quickling powder. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that gave temp HP. I forgot about that. But she's casting eight. Just bump your bump your uh, max HP up by five. Forty one. Going to write a note on my phone about which ones I cast eight on. I mean I can just do this. Ooh. You said you I've got aid. Everybody has aid. Aid, aid, aid. God damn it, temp. Kalen. Give you a temp. <laughs> and no. your temp. You hit Aberforth, Year, and Will? Yes. 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 No, not Year. Aberforth, Will, and Ark. Oh, Will and Ark. Okay. I, 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 I hit. <laughs> I hit Aberforth, Arcturus, and, and Will. For what? Oh, you also cast? For temp hit points. Temp hit points, okay. I, 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 I appreciate how our two supports have gotten into a cold war where they refuse to buff each other. <laughs> yeah. You, you now have a note that says how many hit points you have extra. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> right. You guys buff up? What are you guys doing now? 
uh, advancing. Full forward. Building in front or building to the right? Which one? Uh, I want to go through the giant fountain. <laughs> Which one is he in? I shout at the... As, as, you guys, the as you guys walk past this part, there is a young boy who's just like kind of pounding on the window, trying to get your attention. Oh, maybe we should address that. Hello! Uh, he, he, he just looks fucking desperate, and he's just kind of like slapping the window, trying to get out. But um, as he's slapping the, the window, it's not making the sound of someone slapping glass, it's like he's slapping wood. Okay, well I want to gesture for him to stand back and try hitting it with adventure! Uh, yeah, he uh, steps back. He sees you wind up that. He sees you wind up with that uh, uh, with that uh, fight train fly. All right. Uh, just damage, or can I miss? Uh, it has an AC. You can miss. Nice. Believe it, twenty four will hit though. You can miss. You can crit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't crit objects. Uh, is 14 enough to break that window? Double check. I think it has a base hardness. Broken, small spell, uh... Oh, it just gives me the break DC. Uh, fourteen. I say four damage is enough to break a window. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, the window is shattered. Uh, it doesn't like shatter. You you put like a you, like break a chunk of the window out, but the. All right. it, it's almost like safety glass. Something is holding this window together. So like you get like a like a baseball sized chunk of glass just kind of like fall out of the window and the rest of it kind of stays sturdy. All right, I lean up to the hole and go, do we have the right house? <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to read you about your wagon's extended warranty. Uh, the, the young boy goes, whose house are you looking for? Ah, oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names. William, what house are we looking for? Wait, just... Sure, yeah, this is the right house. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> well, who am I to resist a, a phrase like that? All right, one case of abduction coming up. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> just your Arcturus closer to try to break the window bigger. He did the hard part. Getting the rest of the glass out of the window isn't particularly difficult. You just gotta reach in there and pull it out. Well, I reach in there and I pull it out. Yep, yeah, you have a broken window. Add it to the shop's inventory. <laughs> I'm not adding that to, a, to our shop inventory. I hand it to Aberforth so we can add it to the shop's inventory. How much does it weigh? The shattered remnants of window? Uh, yes. A pound of broken glass. Fantastic, I'm taking it. Um, it, it sounds like glass again. The, the enchantment has worn off since being broken. <laughs> it's okay, our, our customers don't expect perfection. Or even function. <laughs> <laughs> Just like we Our don't expect customers. customers. <laughs> Our <laughs> customers with heavy fucking air quotes. Let's be honest. It's really more of a novelty customers. shop than a magic shop, honestly. Let's be honest. Our customer. <laughs> odds, are, odds are Hazakil's going to be buying his window back from us. <laughs> <laughs> Our customer. Singular. And we're probably about to kill him. Uh, yeah, the boy climbs out the window. He is not having any of this shit. Wait, the boy or what? a boy? A boy. It's not the okay. boy. What shit are you not having? He's like, he's like, oh I l listen, man. I don't know what the hell's going on. I couldn't open any. I we just got locked into the freaking garden, and there were some weird ass noises coming from that hallway. All right. 
Well, if you're ever looking for work, make sure to reach out to Aberforth. I'm just gonna list the name of the shop. Uh, he, he goes, uh, he goes, Are you guys here to help Master Hezekal? He, he's, he's in there yeah. somewhere. Kill him. It is. No, part we're, we're, what? It, why are you like this, Daphne? He just tried to buy you, like, twice. <laughs> it is he, part of my contract. He bought me two years ago. Hey, I don't- I didn't want to be here! Do you think I want to go to the creepy guy's house? But you showed up as soon as I asked. Wait, you're not- <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, um, just wanted to do good. It is part of my contract with Mr. Bristlecone to hand you this promotional flyer. And in the flyer is a business card which, in which you can contact our employer about future jobs. Uh, Kaylin, oh, Jesus. Kaylin, if you want to roll an opposed insight, you can. <laughs> the, the young man takes your business card and he's just kind of like, uh, sure. Um, please just save, <laughs> please just save Mr. Hazakal. I don't know what the heck's going on, but he's in danger. And uh, they, they oh take off God. down the path. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so what happens on a tie? Uh, tie goes to the defender. Who's the defender? Oh, no, no tie, goes to the, tie goes to the attacker. My bad. So, me? Yeah, uh, meets, it, meets it, beats it. Okay. Insight, insight is the attacking in this. Insight yep. is the attacking skill in this instance. Well, oh. insight. Is it? Is it? He's trying insight. to make a well, no, he's trying uh, to his, his insight would be the passive one. He's the defender. Yeah. I'm the one telling the lie. Yeah. Oh, well, my passive insight is a solid oh, zero. zero. It, oh. it, de it, depends <laughs> on if, it depends on if he's suspicious or not. Why well, would I be suspicious of Daphne? She's been here for me. She constantly spits wine on me and makes me feel stronger. If, if he was suspicious, he'd be actively making the insight check. I, yeah, I mean, I, I said he he could make one if he wanted, because Daphne oh, was making an right. exception. Well, if he's not suspicious, it would probably use his passive, which is 10. <laughs> which would speed it. Uh, there's only a passive perception. Everything else is a roll. And even then, I don't, oh, I'm, well not, then. I'm not a big fan of passive perception checks, to be honest. Um, so, uh, Arcturus. You get to the you get to the door and you you listen to it and on the other side you hear. What does the door tell me? Uh, the door tells you uh, that on the other side is a large group of something and they're all like you hear almost like a dozen voices just kind of like moaning and groaning on top of each other and occasionally you hear like a blood curdling scream. And the door tells me it's not open either. Yep, it also does not open. Uh, God, it sounds like the morning after one of Daphne's parties in there. The doorknob turns freely, but when you try to open it, it feels like it's still like hard latched, like like someone's put a deadbolt across the back of it. Um, like not a lock, but an actual like a a bolt or a bar or something. Yeah, the, the the door just is held fast by something, uh, but the doorknob turns free. So, uh, it's not locked. Why are you in lockpick? Can you give me an athletic what check? Got? What do I look like? Some kind of thief? Of course not. <laughs> now that kid ran off without getting his promotional item. It's this cloak that you can sleep on. It's a cloak of pillowing. Um, I mean, we can pillowing is already look. a bad best guy. <laughs> we can look through the other windows. Hello? I assume a 25 hits the door? Ooh, 25. Uh, you slam into the door. Uh, what's the break? What's the smash DC? Open door. Because it's whatever that is plus 10. Did you know that the great bard Jack Nicholson 
chopped through doors so quickly in that play, The Shining, that they had a hard time with pacing in the play. It was called The Glimmering, not The Shining. Oh, sorry. Uh, door, 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 door. 103. Yeah, the other bard, Shelley Duvall, didn't have time to say her lines. Because he was a trained <laughs> firefighter. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. Why is the table for doors not under doors? Oh, God, Joe, eight. it's just like Dan said. Dora oh. killed my parents. <laughs> oh, check the index under J for Jim Morrison. Damn it. Here we go. I'd be under M for Morrison. Here we go. Object. She's sending you to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. Not under objects. For whatever. <laughs> I fucking love that meme. Oh, it's so good. Is was... it a wooden door in good condition or a banded iron door? This is a wooden door in good condition. So it's a 15. So 25. Hey, 25. You open the door. <laughs> Make plenty of noise, but I open the door. Oh, yeah, I know. You slam into that door like a fucking freight train. Uh, there's a fiend in there and a bunch of lemurs. Huh? Or lemurs. That thing, that thing is fucking butt ugly. Is that a relative of yours, Daphne? Uh, so go ahead and roll initiative. All right. Oh, just loving these initiatives. They're pretty great. Aberforth, you get to go first. Hooray! Hooray! What is that? That is a thing? lot of shit in the combat tracker. Stretch. Seems like Stretch is getting exposed to adventure. Suki, do not cast Fireball. Do I need to move directly behind Arcturus to. He, he will have like, cover. He'll have minus two to hit. But if I move here, will he still have cover? Nope, you're good to go. Okay. Huzzah! Ooh, you hit. Oh, so close. Uh -huh. That's a hit. Ah, oh, shit. You know what? That's going to be... I shouldn't get greedy. I will make it a sneak attack, all right. What, are you on a crit fish for the second hit? Yeah, <laughs> right? I like, it's tempting. Well, he explodes. <laughs> Twenty more oh, damage, that'll do it. Um, Aberforth doesn't feel like putting his precious ascot in the way of all these, so he will continue bravely cowering behind Arcturus. He isn't and quite ready for Will to take over the shop yet. Protect that ascot. <laughs> all right. Uh, after Aberforth is the Dretch. Aw. Guy's slow as shit. Uh, well, he's dead. Not dead, he's a fiend. Um, you did send him to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. <laughs> he's not going to use that yet. Year is your turn. I'm going to use my Tales from Beyond on Arcturus, so now whenever he gets hit with a melee attack, uh, the attacker will take a d6 for at least a minute. God, we we actually lucked into a doorway dodge situation. And for my bonus action, I'm going to roll again. I don't give you guys too many of those. I can't Ooh. wait to see how we fuck it up. Ooh, two. Uh, if that's it for year, Arcturus' turn. No, I'm never going to use that. What does the two do? <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but your doorway dodge is not going to last. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't see you using that. That's pretty strong, no. though. Not unless I get snuck up on again. 
oh my god, that imp would have fucking exploded. <laughs> it's Arcturus turn. Just running right in there. Just running right in there, screaming inarticulately, but now somewhat bestially as well. Oh god, having flashbacks to the Nolan encampment. Yeah. Great. This is like when you were playing Call of Duty with your friend and you just threw a sticky grenade on him and he ran into a room of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, he raging. I really like designing that weapon. I made a whole bunch of them, if you noticed. I'm gonna you make a few no, more. That, that, I was liked... on, that was on me for expecting tactics from the Barbarian. I like I liked that you named the shield after uh, Blackwater. Oh yeah, yeah. I like to do callbacks where I can. Oh, I missed that. Oh, so it's just straight up weapons of legacy. So I love it. Yeah, that's it's pretty much what it is. Weapons that level up. That hits. I don't remember hitting reckless attack, but I'll take it. Um, so the combat tracker is broken, and I can't do the uh, advanced uh, initiative button. So things that like wear off at a turn don't wear off. Oh, oh, well, then I'll remove that myself. But I removed it earlier, and I didn't reapply it. I thought, whatever. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna leave it there. It's fine. You dropped a six. It was worth it. I Our attacked. Really, really is that angry? Even if you don't want him to be. In yeah. fairness, the more attacks that hit you right now, the more damage I deal. You want to be hit. You're a friggin' spiky pinata. Ooh, he doesn't die, though. Oh, that's a shame. I sure oh, would like to be dead. Oh, they are not minions. No, they are not. That's it for Arcturus. Mr. Incan's turn. William, cast mm. detect hit points. Hmm. Mm, this is uh not good. I guess we're gonna go. And sure, I guess we are gonna cast detect hit points. Mm. Uh, so that wounded guy. <laughs> Magic myth. Oh, this is definitely not good. Blech. He also just disappears in a pile of ash. So they have at like around fifteen hit points. Yeah. And that's it for Will. Right after Will is Daphne. Uh, Daphne. <laughs> Oof. Uh, yes, yes, you should. It's spooky out there. I like that. Daphne takes a step forward and, and uh, visibly on her face regrets doing so as soon as how much shit is in there. Yeah, also, these guys are not pleasant to look at. They're like just vaguely man shaped blobs of flesh. So, okay, so it's not tracking duration. So, does that mean I have to track my bless manually? Uh, how long does that last? Like 10 rounds? It lasts, it lasts a minute. Oh, you're fine. That's probably yeah, like ten rounds. Uh, you're good for now. Okay. Um, I'll let you know when you have like two rounds. <laughs> well, okay. Here's an idea. That guy looks like if a, someone took a monkey and made it very ugly. Yep. Not a fan. Looks like my uncle Tony. Oh. Oh, they are relatively. 
just year from the back, absolutely roasting. <laughs> uh, I I can only do fire damage that way, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Daphne is going to take another sip from her wine skin and then present it forward, and from it erupts a spiritual weapon. Oh god. Which, to remind everyone, is a uh, a cat of nine tails made of braided flaming vines. Are they and... grape vines? You know what? They are. <laughs> I didn't think yeah. of that, but that's way better than the lore I came up with. <laughs> yep, 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 you're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's pop it down to the left of... Um... Oh yeah, that's a me job. Oh wait, no. Uh, Let's pop it down from the to the opposite side of Arcturus, so it gets flanked. There we go. Um, that was a bonus action. So I can cast a cantrip. Let's go for. Let's make the sound of a dolorous bell. I also think you can attack with it the same action you used to summon it, can't you? Yes, you can. Can you? Okay. Yep. As soon as you summon it, you can attack with it. And then on your turn, it's a bonus action to make it move and attack. Uh, does it have advantage? Yes. Benefit from flanking? Yes. Uh, yeah, we've been doing it like that. That is. Okay. Oh, he don't like it! And 11 hits? Did you just fill this room with cardboard cutouts? Are these <laughs> actually monsters? There's a reason there's like a dozen of them here. And the sound of a delay. Well, oh, he failed. Taking the big. It's it's right. like these guys' only job is to slow you guys the fuck down while someone does something nefarious somewhere else. There's no way such a good businessman would Let's do take... something nefarious. Take a step back, so some <laughs> fill, file in, and that will end my turn. I cannot wait until we we walk in and Hazakal's got, like, a child on an altar with, like, the knife ready to kill them, and we're like, what about now? What about now, uh, Aberforth? And he's like, maybe the kid pissed him off. Maybe he was a thief. Who knows? <laughs> maybe the kid defaulted on a loan. Listen, reasonable. It's the boy, and then suddenly it's like, oh no, he definitely defaulted on a loan. <laughs> <laughs> I was half expecting to find out the beacon he's kidnapped is actually the boy. He's been playing us for fools all along. You guys have a moving speed of 15 feet. Oh, yeah. They're, they don't have legs. They're, they're literally just like slug people. <laughs> Tar pit, <laughs> go! Hey, I reached you. He's going to hit you with his, like, seal flipper fist. Yeah. Who he hit? He takes a single point of damage. Ow. Guy. Hyper fist. Go. Thank you, Kaylin. Three. That misses. <laughs> and these things look like they're in like the worst pain a creature's ever been in the entire time that they're like moving. Existence is agony for these guys. Ooh, two crits. He takes a single point of damage. Nice. <laughs> Getting some value. I'm glad to have such consistent co-workers. <laughs> what the fuck's with our damage dice? <laughs> Just Daphne hitting him with a big damage. Three. There's a lot of these.
say that like you're surprised by the number of dudes in the room, but you put every single dude in this room. I did, but I did it like three in the morning yesterday, so I don't remember any of what the fuck I was doing. He's like, man, this room is very long and very empty. I know. Oh, so <laughs> you oh, don't so have the, the DM version yeah. of me me rebuilding Meryl while high on edible. You, <laughs> you, you, you may have unlocked the secret of how I do anything. <laughs> That's what keeps it DMing fun. It when is. he is also finding stuff out for the first time with us. Oh, I missed William. <laughs> By the way, I give permission to drop a fireball in on top of me just in case. Here it is. Only the last time, time we did that, we crashed Fantasy Grounds. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about um, it. It's 9 so o'clock anyways. <laughs> Johnny Law's greatest contribution to the <laughs> campaign. Johnny Law's greatest camp contribution, war crimes. <laughs> I, was, I was literally looking at this going like, man... A fireball would be great here, and I was getting flashbacks. So we did that once, and we had to fucking restart. So do we <laughs> just want to pause right now while we're at the top of initiative, since it's midnight. That sounds good. We can do that. I can fireball midnight. these dudes later. Midnight. Ah, uh, yes, we're gonna get a fireball with all those third level spell slots we have. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yep. That's right. Midnight. They're all on the wrong side of the country. Yep. What the? F all right. I'll see you folks later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good session. Bye -bye.